Well, folks, today is part of the day that we've all been waiting for. Uh, when you guys ask me questions about when are you going to get this done? When are you going to do this? When are you going to do that? Well, this is the results of an basic uh, early experiment, much like the famed Australian paper, except I didn't anneal any of the uh, graphene between anything. I just used two electrodes, carbon paper electrodes, if you can see them. Got it on this little thing to keep everything clean. Uh, put some tape down to make sure nothing spreads about too much, and placed the graphene in a little uh, electrolyte. It's, it's cheap, it's terrible electrolyte actually compared to what even any electrolytic capacitor would use, but this was more proof, proof of concept than anything. But here it is. This is just the graphene that's been reduced in an electrolyte not any of the good stuff like the aluminum chloride or anything like that or imidazolium any any of those you could just name off a trillion better electrolytes than this this is basically salt water put the two electro uh, electrodes in there that's carbon paper uh, and then I used a graphene coated paper underneath those it, it's two little strips and I can actually this little thing right here ugh some of the other tape from the other electrodes that were, that's the direct thing that's coating or touching the electrolyte uh, is one of these little strips of graphene paper. And then the carbon is just there to hold up. So then we go and we have our little battery, which don't have to charge it up right now because uh, A, this does not hold the voltage that that 9 volt holds. Uh, it only holds a few volts, maybe uh, 0.8 to 0.7. It tops out. Its uh, maximum threshold capability is about 0.8 or 1.8 volts. Uh, that's when the electrolyte starts turning into gas and <laughs> just burning up. But it is what it is. And then we have our little multimeter. Now let's see if we can get this into frame with each other. Here we are. Ta-da! And I can do this one-handed. You can see uh, this is the multimeter is set onto capacitance. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm a bumbling idiot. You touch the two together as I destroy everything. And you'll get oh, this is so hard. This is this makes eating with chopsticks look like something easy. We have an overload at first, but we're getting about 686, 695. Usually we're getting, I, I kind of messed the electrodes up if you can see, but that's all right. They're still touching the graphene paper, and there you go. You, it'll go up and fluctuate up and down because of the fact that I don't have anything tied down, and uh, the highest I've gotten is 1800 UF off of just a drop Think about that, 1800 UF off of just a drop of this uh, graphene. Uh, the scaled up things look pretty decent, especially 1.8 volts is not too bad for an override. And you just sit it at one volt per cell, you could stack these. But that's with this electrolyte. I'm looking at four volt positive negative electrolytes, much like the uh, aluminum chloride and things like that. And so far, the big tests, the ones where we have the machine working, like this hood box, and see the machine down there, and in there. Most of those those tests you can't do in um, an atmosphere with oxygen or any moisture. So, you know, it's kind of wonky and everything, but that's what most batteries like this are made kind of like that. Uh, it's really neat very promising. Uh, pretty soon we'll have a update where I'm going to have these packaged in good electrolyte and by good I mean worthy of even using and then we'll have uh, some little stack cells and things like that. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it very hard guys. I, it's just finals week. <laughs> uh, anyway so Cheers to you all. Thank you very much.